Um, right, let's zoom out. Well, I'm zooming out and push, pulling the uh, phone out a bit. So, um, a couple of services are on today. And um, I don't know if you noticed the battery died, so I should check the battery. I'll show you how I check the battery. But it was replaced 2021. January. Uh, so the first thing I do is, as soon as I get here, uh, it's a Texacom panel, so I go into engineer's mode. Um, just show you up there what it is, a Premier 48. Put it into engineer mode. First thing I do is get into um, the um, engineer test function and put it on walk test and get people to just walk around as normal so I can just see what's going through on the zones so I, I don't have, well I do do it but I don't have to go around so much um, basically I anyway second thing I do is I don't know if you can see the little light on here I'm just there I'm testing the SAB at the moment so I'll pull that fuse out and I'll leave that power for about 10 minutes so it's testing the SIB. We can hear the SIB going off outside. I'll leave that off. Um, second thing I'm gonna do while I'm here is I'm gonna disconnect the red care here. Now I have to do both legs because one of them might be down to zero volts anyway so it's best if we just get disconnect the bulb ones and that causes a land line fault at the central station we'll be able to diagnose those from those lights up there so basically any tests now that i do i'm going to go through on the gprs side of it um second thing i do i'm just going to do it off Camera. Well, I won't do it off camera. I've just done a bit, but um, like detectors like this, I've gone around with my brush, give them a good clean, cobwebs, etc. And I'll do that on all detectors. Um, as you can see on here, I've already done it. I've already took this zone off. Uh, you can't actually open this door, but because it's uh, triple locked uh, one two three quadruple locked so i've had to disconnect the magnet on these two points so that's on um, one it isn't entry exit it's actually a full alarm um, i'm not going to take the fuse out yet i'm actually testing the si unit don't know if you're near land in the background um, but uh, oh, it's a nice little feature uh, I don't know if you can all see it. So when I actually install this, it's got grommets. Uh, probably a good example. It's got grommets here. So I've got grommets coming into it. This is just the uh, BT line that I've just pulled out. So the, the red gear is actually sat on the GPRS signal. And, and as we can see, it's trying to communicate now on the GPRS. Uh, registry in a line fault. Anyway, I'm going to crack around. Or oh, crack on. Okay, we're back down here. So, obviously, uh, new. I will let that open a bit. I will let that open a bit. Here's my line. When that line's up, it doesn't line up on what you So I'm going to have to have a word with the customer and make sure that that. that. Right, so I've just noticed. I'll still, you're the SAB going off. Um, I've got a line across there. Now. And we've got a line up properly. 
the last couple of words with a customer about this. Um, so there's a bit of wear, and it looks like the uh, the bottom rum has been changed because of the colour. We've got that up there. Good touch up. I'll give it a clean, come back there. Come back please. Um, it's a factory so I'm just dusted in there anyway. Um, in the detector so the confirmation bleep on the control panel so check that uh, it's okay. right here I'm just giving it a good scrub over because the microwave units are at the back of here yeah microwave units are at the back of here um, cold brush them around it Get the cobwebs from around it. Just the front. I've already heard the confirmation time from the control panel to verify that it's tripped. Back to the next one. Well, here we're right up into the um, into the storage area. And there is a detector up here. It is obscured. So I'll move the stuff out of the way a bit. Etc. Just give reasonable coverage though. Lights have gone off. Pick me up. She's a dual tech. Right, it's been about half an hour. I've done my walk test and everything. I've just confirmed that everything's okay. So I'm going to put that back on and that's putting power back. Okay, so the fuse lights off now. etc. Okay, um, what I've done is I've put it into an um, engineer test and I've put a close on channel 1 which is so basically if anybody puts my engineer code in and I'm not here it'll transmit a channel 1 uh, alert me that there's an unauthorised access to the engineering functions that's great um, we still got the uh, line fault and I'm doing a test with the line fault in situ. Uh, so channel one's gone. I'm going to do manual tests on channels uh, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. They'll come through and I'll do a channel one sandwich as I call it. So everything's surrounded by a channel one after everything's clear. Okay. Back to the panel. Right, uh, so what I've done is I, my channel 1 is deactivated. I won't activate that channel until I've finished doing these tests. So all these signals have gone through. Okay, and I'm going to do them in order. So it's 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Wait for those to go through because four is going to take a little bit more time to go through. We're up for four now. Wait for those signals to come through. I'll come back in a bit and just put the channel one back on. Right back at the keypad, here's my um, channel 1 sandwich. 
it's going through okay now what i'm going to do now is go back to the keeper get it back to the control panel and once that signal's gone through i'll put the gprs back together i should put the pstn back on as well right uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the telephone line back on there um, i've just pulled out the gprs lead and we've got into no response okay i'm going to put the telephone line back into there and um, we should see that signal come back with a gsm pulse as well okay we're back all right so psdm has gone back in got to put the lid on gprs and gsm lead is out uh, we're communicating, no problem there, and he's telling me that there's a uh, problem with the uh, GPRS signal or GSM signal. Alright, so I'll put the lead back in that, get it back and restore so you can actually see it back in full operation. Okay, back again. Right, we've got two steady LEDs. We've got no fault LEDs on there at all now. So we're communicating fine. Um, but we have got a channel uh, one still open. But yes, so the GPRS, or GSM, sorry, it is GSM. You're back in, we've got the PTS, uh, PSTN. Back in, I'm just going to tidy that one up. See if I can do it on camera, I don't know if I can. Oh. Okay, oh, 100% in focus. Right, I'm going to uh, put that lid on there. Uh, what I can't do is, after this, I can't show you because it's actually got a chip number on it. Uh, sorry, sorry about that, I've got my screwdriver in my mouth. Um, it's got the chip number on it. Now you're going to show the chip number on, on online. Okay, so that's going to be in the end of that until I do my final tests. Right, I've got the chip number called. What I want to show you is um, okay, so we've got a fault LED come up. Um, basically, I've tested tamper, uh, seen that come through, but uh, also. I've got the mains out so I'm testing it on battery now and that is generating you know for compliance where are the LEDs uh, let's see could be yeah, there it is again okay so that's uh, that's our mains fault going through so I'm gonna close that it won't take a few seconds to stabilize and go through but Let's have a look again. Okay, it's pretty quick. Right, there's a confirmation. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have full fill LED coming up now. Mine's is back in. So the next thing we're going to do is test this battery. We test the battery, I need to take it off and do a, it's not a drop test, it's a, so we're an AC gold meter, so I'm going to test it, uh, show you what it should be. AC gold, pretty good. Uh, NSI officer wouldn't say that though, but uh, that's what I'll get to go on. back to this and move that back over again so just the bottom rail put a wedge behind there pushed it across in this direction to bring it back in line better than it was uh, it ain't 100 percent but it's going to go backwards and forwards i told the customer to actually put it right 
Anyway, that's it. Done. Right. Um. So my dash cam just come on. Um. Sorry about the wobbling of the um, camera. I have just serviced the alarm. I've just come out. I am. Um, Etc. I hope it's been of some benefit to show you what I actually do. It ain't all the tests I do, obviously. Um, I don't know, you know, it, I mean, it, it, it is ultra boring. Um, obviously, I can't um, put the conversation I've had on with the central station, checking the signals that's gone through, doing all the tests. Um, but they're there. Basically, all I want to do is find out off the central station. Um, like I said, I put a channel one through, um, and then I do all my signals in between that. So I've done a, uh, let's have a think. We did a line fault on the GSM. I sent through all the signals on the GSM. Then we cleared down the line fault on the GSM. Uh, we, and the PSTN, sorry. So we got a, a clear channels back. I then took it out of engineer mode, which did the restore on the channels that I put through, which is now checking the PSTN uh, because the priority is through the PSTN. So I've checked both GSM and PSTN then. Uh, it's gone back into day mode. The bell went off after about 15 minutes, so I totally dis discharged the bell. Uh, that was fine. Uh, cleaned down everything as you see on the videos. Uh, that was it basically uh, so I've come away tested in the full alarm condition yeah you, you, you don't want to see me doing that but all I'm doing is just running around uh, the one thing I did do is move that door over which I should, said I would um, moved it over to where I thought it had got to go um, tested it and did come up fault uh, so I've had to move it back over a little bit so it looks as if it's out of line but it's actually in line and I've explained that to the customer um, it does look out of line but it's actually fine where it is if you do try and put it in line for some reason I, I don't understand why um, it's actually uh, comes up a fault if it's actually in line with each other so that's me I finished I've cleared down at the central station uh, it's back into day mowered I'm just about to get some dinner because it's now 10 to 1 in the afternoon. Okay, thank you, and TTF, TTFM from me.